My next guest is the boss of the multi-million pound laundry company, Anne Summers. Behind the scenes, though, Jacqueline Gold developed breast cancer, revealing her diagnosis on our show. That was back in 2017. She's here today talking for the first time about the disease returning. And Jacqueline, that is the news you don't want to get. No, it certainly isn't. And obviously, I was here um, last year talking about the fact that I'd had a complete response to treatment. There was very little chance of it coming back, and unfortunately, it did. Um, and it's certainly been an awful year, but, mm. you know, I've had lots of, you know, self-belief and uh, a real ninja-like You are, approach. you said that. I love the fact that you call it like a ninja. Yeah. And you're you very focused. To. You've got to be really, you've got to have a plan. I think, you know, certainly for me, and, and that has really, that has really helped me yeah. through it. Um, because, it, you know, it has obviously been really difficult. But if you can beat it once, you can beat it again. So I think that should give people confidence absolutely, if that happens. Absolutely. Now, back in the, the, the early, earlier on this year, you had to have a mastectomy, which is really hard because it, can, it, it must affect your confidence. Even an amazing warrior <laughs> like you, it's got to affect your confidence. Of course. I mean, the you know, first thing I think is, oh, my God, is my husband still going to fancy me? Sure. You know, it's those are natural, natural thoughts. And, um, you know, I went through a process of, uh, you know, even myself touching it before looking, looking at it and doing the same with my husband. And really just trying to normalise it at home, because obviously I've got a 10-year-old daughter as well. Um, and the other thing that surprised me was that nobody, you know, in the health profession really talked about how it would affect my sex life. That's true. And I think that, you know, it's different if men have prostate cancer or something, they immediately talk about how it's going to affect their sex of life. Yeah. And it's very different for women. So I haven't been resting on my <laughs> laurels. I just came up with this new brand idea called My Viv, which actually stands for my very important vagina. Very important vagina. I, yeah. Loving I it. I hope I can say that. <laughs> no, I've just said it. I'm going to say it again. Very important vagina. <laughs> um, but I, we've, we've actually collaborated with Breast Cancer now and it's right. just amazing how many women are so receptive to this and want to be able to have the confidence and uh, the sexual confidence as yeah. well. So we and don't talk about it, Jackie. We don't, we don't talk about it. Because it's all focused on you'll get better, you'll get through this, you know, it's going to be fine. And it's a lot about, you know, obviously feeling better physically, feeling much better mentally. But, you know, your sex life is a really important is part really of you being a woman. Of course, and we don't want women to feel embarrassed or no. feeling that it's trivial. Um, so, yes, we've partner, partnered with Breast Cancer now. All the profits, 10% of the profits go to the charity. It's going to be available. The range is going to be available in boots. It's sort of therapy right through to pleasure. So it's a very gentle, soft, um, safe... Yeah. Uh, product range and, and a, hopefully we're developing a community where women can engage and talk about their stories. This is one of the brilliant things about online. That's where you can all come together. I mean, we found that with, with our campaign as well and I know you're going to be encouraging your employees to check themselves and all of that. It's just spreading that message and making people oh, more aware absolutely. and it's really good. So look, how are you now? How are things? Because you look fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm clear. So, wow. um, you know, for me, I've just got to live my best life now. Sure. And, can um, you do that though? Have you got this? Because I know how strong you are, but kind of like, right, we're moving forward and it's because it's kind of always there, or do you just not yeah, think I, about I've it? I've got to be honest, I went through a period where you're constantly looking over your shoulder, but you don't do that when you get in a car. So I thought, you know, this isn't the way to live my life. I, I've, I get back involved. My, Anne Summers is my passion. This project, My Viv, is my passion. You know, do the things, female empowerment. I picked up, picked up a, an activist award just after my mistakesomy. You did, yes. Um, and you took your daughter along, I took my you? daughter, yes, because I just thought, she's seen mummy go through such a difficult stage. Yeah, yeah. I wanted her to see me on stage, um, receiving an award for something so important. And that, and obviously seeing you looking so well, looking so glamorous, yes. looking so in control, everybody applauding, that would reassure her as well. Yes. You know, because it's been, it's been hard for all of you. It's been it hard has. for the whole family, yes. hasn't it? But like I say, you look terrific. You, you, you really do. Looking ahead to next year, I can't believe you're going to be 60 next year. That's not... <laughs> How did that happen? Because that is for me, it's the end of this month. And I'm sure like, what, where, where did that keep up on us <laughs> when we weren't looking? It is crazy, isn't it? I know. It's absolutely crazy. But it's so good to see you in such good health. Thank you. And it, I shall try out all the products that you yeah. left me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I report back and let you know how to get on. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Thank it you. really is. And good luck with my Viv.